we have actually launched what we call a digital plan. Um, it's actually a five years plan that has been launched two years ago, where we're going to spend like more than 200 million euro on digitalizing the company at the different touch points of the of the journey. So. An example here will be what we call the uh, client card. The client card right now is very limited. You get the uh, detail of the customer, whether they are smoking, non-smoking, higher floor, lower floor, right? Very limited information that you cannot really use to customize anything. But moving forward, we are currently enriching that information. So even the ability to, to get the, uh, the previous uh, reviews that they have posted on TripAdvisor, for example, or our own uh, uh, questionnaire system, um, to see what they like, what they dislike, and how you can use that to customize and make the experience better. Yeah, so I guess the challenge here is the uh, diversity of sources and languages that we operate in the region. So you need first to find tools and provider that cover all the sources, or at least 90% of all the sources, cover the languages properly, and have a tool which is user-friendly so that anyone in a hotel can use. Th keeping in mind that in a hotel, people have very, very various jobs, right? So they obviously their top job is to take care of the customer, but then yeah, they have a lot of administrative tool to take care of. So it has to be the simple possible and the easiest possible because you can get so many KPIs that you can actually be lost in those KPIs. And for the hotel, it has to be straight to the point. What are the KPI I need to look at? And what should I do about it? I guess it came first with a lot of training to explain why they need to care about their online reputation, especially, and to show them the direct link between more reviews, higher ranking, higher ranking, higher number of booking, right? So when you show that relationship through um, business cases, obviously, people start to get your attention, right? So we add first to um, change the culture and saying, well, actually getting reviews is good for you. And the more you get, actually, the higher your, your ranking will be and the higher your, your score will be, which is a bit counterintuitive. But all the research I've shown, the more reviews you get, the higher your, uh, your score is. Um, so when they get that uh, really anchored into their, their culture, then we started to have objective in terms of scoring. And now, for the first time this year at Taco Hotel, every single person in the entire uh, company has a guest experience target, which is 100% linked to online reputation. So if the group is not making their target in terms of online reputation, I do not get my bonus. With the amount of, um, of content which is al already available, and I guess in the travel industry, we are lucky enough to have a lot of content available without pushing for it. Uh, it's how we use that content which is already readily available and we repurpose it so that we use it to tell our story but through the eyes of someone else, which is a lot more powerful than if we were to tell our story ourselves. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we have implemented for the last few years uh, on top of the tool I was talking about before is a tool that crawls pictures that are being taken in a property, so in a location. So it's not based on hashtag, it's based on GPS location. And that's very important to do that because 80% of people who take pictures do not hashtag the property or do not hashtag the place where they are at. So you miss a lot of content. So with that tool, we are able to crawl all those pictures to put them in, in one repository and to decide what we want to do with it. So whether we want to interact with that person, um, we want to reuse that picture. In that case, we need to, to ask it. So for example, right now, we've got um, uh, what we call point of interest on our website. So for example, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, um, here the Mare Lion. Instead of putting the, uh, you know, pictures that are the picture that everyone would have, right, which are uh, available easily on uh, uh, stock pictures, we use the pictures that have been taken by people um, as a feed. So that's pictures that are unique. Uh, and that are coming from someone else. And we we'll do exactly the same on an hotel website. We put a picture, we put our own picture, but we put also the picture of the guest so that we show the truth, right? Uh, that is not been photoshopped. And then people like the fact that uh, they are actually showing their, their piece of art. Virtual reality is something that's something we are looking into, but that's something also that's going to change the approach to travel. Um, so right now it's more gimmick than anything else, but I think it's gonna, it's gonna be one of the key elements in the future.